I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. Every single white person knows somebody who is racist. Racist towards black people, racist towards Spanish people. We all know somebody. It might be our family member. It might be a distant relative. It might be a co-worker. It might be an old friend. But we all know somebody. Personally, I come from a whole family of racist people. Yeah, my entire family is Republican too, okay? My dad's parents are racist, and my mom's parents are racist, <laughs> okay? So I'm literally going against everything by talking about this. I am putting my own life on the line by speaking about this, and that's what we all should be doing. See, we could have ended this a long time ago, but people like my mom listened <laughs> to these racist comments that their parents were making and didn't speak out against it. They kept their mouth shut or they agreed with them silently, you know, but they didn't do anything about it. They continued to let this be passed on generation after generation. Oh, my mom never told me or taught me any racist ideologies. She continued to let it happen because she didn't speak out against it when her parents were talking about it or my dad's parents were talking. So if you are against racism and you are against discrimination and you're a white person, you need to speak out about it. Otherwise, you are allowing this to continue generation after generation, and you are just as much a part of the problem as anybody else. Who's going to tell him? Somebody has to. Somebody has to tell him or tell them that what he shared in this video isn't a secret. We already know. How could we not know? We've been in on the know since you guys invented rate to the season 400 years ago. Like, why do they think people use the blankets white people are rate to the cyst? It's because people are aware that you people have close proximity to rate to the cyst each and every one of you. If you are not a rate to the cyst yourself, you know somebody, either a family member, a spouse, or a friend, a co-worker, someone who is a rate to the cyst. And because rate to the cyst are running rampant in your communities, that is why the exceptions of the few that aren't rate to the cyst, even though some people would argue that you know there is no exception, but you know, conversation for another day. Because the exception, if there are, it's very few, they don't even matter because the majority are ready to desist. And because the majority are ready to desist, that is why rate to the system is still very much alive, even in 2023. And another reason why people don't even like to exclude the so-called exception is because the so-called exception stand idly by and watch their rate to the cyst friends, family members, co-workers be rate to the cyst. Like he clearly stated in his video, everybody heard when he said it. He even cited his mom as an example. She isn't, or she is someone that will be called the exception, right? Because according to him, she isn't a rate to the cyst herself, but she stands idly by and watch her rate to the cyst friends, family member, whoever, be rate to the cyst around her and she does nothing about it. There is this saying, bad things happen because good people do nothing. That is why this world is exactly the way it is. Because there are people out there who are like, one, how does this concern me? It's none of my business, so I don't care. And there is also the fact that there are white people who are aware, even though they deny that they benefit from rate to the system, they are very much aware that they benefit from it. So they might be the exception that aren't rate to the system themselves, right? But because they know that they benefit from the system of rate to the system, they keep quiet about it in their head. Well, I'm not a rate to the cyst, right? I'm not the one who created the system and I do not care. And more so, I don't really care like that because I'm not being affected by rate to the system. And more so even, I don't care about rate to the system because, you know, it benefits me and I know. I would publicly deny that it doesn't or I would publicly act like I'm ignorant of the facts. But deep down, I know that it benefits me. This system benefits me not even in my country, but globally. So they might pretend or feign ignorance, but they know deep down that they benefit from it. Hence why the majority of them are not interested 
in bringing down the system. And he said this too in his video, right? That's why they're not interested in bringing down the system. They get to have the privilege of benefiting from white supremacy. They get to have the privilege of benefiting from their whiteness. They get to have the privilege of benefiting from racism. to the system. All the while, while feigning ignorance, acting like they have no idea what's going on. They have no idea what systems we're talking about. They also get to reap the benefits of being individuals, even though they benefit from this system collectively, right? They get the benefits of being individuals and playing the individual card, talking about, well, I'm not a race to this And it's very interesting that he thought this was a secret, that he was letting the cat out of the bag. The cat has been out of the bag for 400, over 400 years now. So these people legit think that after everything that black people globally have been going through, we have not decoded this since. Like they think we haven't figured this out. We are not dumb. We see how you guys rule. Come on. It's not a secret. You are so right. And this is how ridiculous it is. I live in Philly, right? We're very culturally diverse. We protest all kinds of so I called around trying to find an anti organization that I could join that could be like, you know, boots on the ground. Like, what can we do actively to change? Right. Like we need an organization of white people who are anti and willing to fight the system. There is not one, not one. Every company that said that they were an anti organization, when I called, they were like, oh, well, what we meant was we support the fact that black lives matter. That is not an anti racist organization. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided to contact my state representative in my district and see what I can do to start an organization. So I went to the office of the representative in my district and it was abandoned. There's no change of address on Google. There's no way to find out where they're at. So right now I am in the process of trying to contact Anybody that I can, and actually, if anyone has any ideas of who I may or may not contact to get something going, that would be greatly appreciated. But you're absolutely right. This is something that white people have to fix. It is a white people disease, and it is running rampant throughout the world. And it's absolutely disgusting. But we definitely need to do more actively. We need... I would love to see a nationwide organization of anti white people, kind of like how Black Lives Matter spread throughout the nation and throughout the world. And that was a beautiful thing because it led to a worldwide civil rights movement. But unfortunately, white people are going to have to be the ones to dismantle this system. And I don't know what to do at this point to get enough of us riled up and rallying for the purpose of dismantling this system of white supremacy and dismantling the patriarchy. That does not mean it's impossible. It just means it's going to take a lot of work from me to get it done in my city and any anti white person who might see this video i am begging you to please do the same thing in your city because until we rise up collectively as a whole the white supremacist structure will stay intact we have to be the ones to fight back thank you for this comment it is so fucking accurate white person who might see this video i am begging you to please do the same thing in your city because until we rise up collectively as a whole, the white supremacist structure will stay intact. We have to be the ones to fight back. Thank you for this comment. It is so fucking accurate. So yeah, rate to the season would only come to an end when and if white people decide that they want to put an end to rate to the season. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not going to hold my breath because I genuinely feel like that day would never come. Because as long as they continue to benefit from rate to the season and white supremacy, 
they would always want to hold on to that power that they have and that control, right? They, they don't want to give that up because they want to continue to reap the benefits that comes with it. And this is not me being a pessimist or anything. It's just the plain truth. It's just the reality. Right to the system, white supremacy is white people centered. It's a system that was created to benefit them. We need our own system that is our people centered. Of course, not a diabolic system like theirs that is built on hate and the exploitation of other people. A system that is driven by and built on the foundation of love. Love for each other in our community. A system that is built on the foundation of it's all or nothing. I would only feel free if you are free. I would only feel satisfied if you are satisfied. If you are thirsty, I'm thirsty too and I want to quench your thirst. So now I know that we are all, you know, no longer thirsting. That kind of system. So they have their system. Even though it's driven by hate and all things evil, it benefits them. We need to have our own that benefits us. And that's my two cents on all of this. But of course, I want to hear what you guys think. So do let us know down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.